I had forgotten how good you are. It was shocking because it's been a little while. You came in and started you started doing your stuff, and I was like, holy shit. It's absolutely bananas to be sitting there watching Emma be Anya again, and then turn around and there's Charisma being Cordelia again. It's nice to work with people again and, and to connect character to character. It really just means the world getting to come and do this. There are so many scenes that I know that fans are gonna just love because I'm one of them. By opening up this new doorway into this new reality, we have essentially reopened the world of Buffy to all fantastical new elements. It's gonna satiate this seemingly insatiable, powerful fandom. I'm looking around at this sea of faces. <laughs> Sorry. It just makes me really happy. I never would have thought I'd be here 22 years later. What I absolutely love about everyone involved mm -hmm. with Buffy is that we all care. really care yeah, about it. Really do. To the point where we drive ourselves a little bit crazy, <laughs> frankly, you know. All of you, look at the compass in Anya's hand. Anya, hold it out a bit further. Anya, hold it out a bit further. Anya, hold it out. Oh, you know. No, we hold got it. it. We got it. Anya. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> there is like a comfort food vibe about Buffy. And I think that's why people keep coming back to it, why people love Buffy so much. Even being in the studio now, it's like getting the gang back together. The stunned looks on other members of the cast's faces when they find out that, yes, Anthony Stewart head is Giles again. These are all people that have just become in some aspect, there's just a larger fabric of my life. To be back in a booth with them as these characters, that's wild. Look at us. A ragtag bunch, if ever there was one. I mean, we truly are like family, and so that, I think, really translates to, to the work. And the script is incredible. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that is, yeah. All right, you get your money later, Jimmy. Thanks, Amber, appreciate it. <laughs> the new story that we're doing, it's a parallel reality story where Cordelia Chase is the vampire slayer. You're aware that in this world... Your Cordelia is dead. Yes. But it sounds like she's had a very different role to play. I'm not trying to be Buffy. I'm actually Cordelia as a slayer. The thing that I love about being the slayer is that personally, I love to kick ass. If you and your minions agree to leave now, you can have the girl. The big bad is yours truly. <laughs> it was delightful to see you take that part of the story and just run with it and just be dangerous and terrifying and powerful. I want to hold her heart in my fist as I watch her die. The thing with Spike and Drew is we have done a lot of really terrible things, but there's this epic love story and connection between the, the two of our characters. And I think that that is one of the things that sort of, you know, balances out and makes them well, well-rounded. Drew, <sighs> stop. You could come with me and we could start over somewhere else. Mm. On the good side is Giles. Anya, Clem, and our new slayer, Indira. The character Indira Nunnally that I play is so much fun. There's really no limits with her. She's sassy and she's fun, exciting. She's determined and very eager. She's been chosen for this fight and I'm not gonna keep her out of it. Thank you, Cordelia. Nobody needs to be responsible for me. I'm a slayer. <laughs> it's exciting to do something in this universe, which I love. I said, ideally, if we were gonna do it, the great thing to do would be to write it with Amber. It is our way of, of changing some endings. In my world, it was you and me. You trained me, taught me everything I know about being a slayer. Tara, you stay close to me. I don't need your protection. With Tara, she means so much to so many people. When we were doing the show, I would get letters from kids. I live in Podunk, wherever, and there's nobody else like me, but I found this show, and it's okay to be who I am. I got a call from Amber, she goes, do you have a second? And I go, you know anything you wanna do, I'm gonna say yes to, so yeah, I'll do it. <laughs>
trying to write for your ears is really, really, really difficult. If there's any show that calls for audio, it's this one. Audio lends itself to supernatural stories because you're essentially having to believe something that doesn't exist. You're able to really sit inside the environment with the characters and feel like you're in the front seat of the story. I also really love that you can like listen to this at the grocery store. It's very universal, like anybody can listen to it even if you don't have the time or you're working a nine to five, like you can put this mm -hmm. in your ear and be taken to a, a totally different world. I love the idea of giving it a rebirth, a reimagination, this popular fandom on this new incredible medium. With everything magical, with every portal, you're gonna go along with the characters and feel like you are part of the action. Bottom of 48, the sound effect that we're gonna put in is glass smashing, so I need a reaction from everybody. And then we'll blend it in with the sound effects to make it feel like you're getting sucked into living. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Really good, like I said, energy. Yeah, energy up. Um, She's slightly patronizing to uh, yeah, Indira. Yeah. Anya, yeah. slightly patronizing. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. We create a real feel in the reality of sound because we're able to bring the cast together like the way we're doing now. The recording sessions are like a, a badminton match or a dance. I was doing punches the other day, and I can't punch, but like I was just going. Duh, 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 duh. Oh. oh, two for one. I think I'm gonna keep this steak. It's lucky. Oh, uh, a steak to the arm? Is that the best you can do, Slayer? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyanka, I can explain. Anya's here. I know she's here. I can feel her. I mean, I've played Anya and Anyanka before. With this, it's like, Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Anya says something. Anyanka says something. Anya says something. Anyanka says something. You know, and they're both like in this space together. If you fail, Watcher, you will have boils and separating sores on your genitals for the rest of your miserable days. That is not hmm. helpful right now, Anyanka. You have different characters popping off line to line to line to line to line. Yeah. line. I mean, and just technically, uh, kudos. Yeah. Same. The fact that here we are, twenty years after the show went off the air and we're still here, and I'm still a part of it. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's, it changed my life. I love you all. I'm so love glad you. you're here. Mm. I get very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing us here. To all the Buffy fans out there, we are just so happy to be coming back into your world. I'm telling you now, this is what you've been waiting for. I think the fans are gonna just eat this up. I really feel good about it. And if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm not, I'm just not wrong. I know you're gonna clamor for it. And when it comes out, you're gonna burn through it. You know Clem don't lie. It just takes you into another dimension. So if you're a fan of the series or love audio entertainment, get a really good pair of headphones. Listen now on Audible. You guys are gonna have a fun time listening. So why are you still watching this? Please go, go, go listen. Ha, ha, ha.